Hey, everybody. Welcome back to This Week in Startups. And I just want to take a moment to thank my friends at Salesforce. They have been a tremendous partner of This Week in Startups and the Launch Festival, which, as you know, has the mission to support founders and inspire innovation. And I wanted to talk a little bit with their head of startups, uh, Ludo Ulrich. You are the head of st- Salesforce for Startups. Yes, startup relations, the way we engage with startups, yes. Right. Now, uh, and thank you, you guys have been so great. You, you come to all the events we do, you buy lunch for people. It's very nice. I, yep. I just want to tell you, I th- thank you on behalf of the startups because we do all these events. They cost a lot of money. You do your own huge event. Yep. You understand how much it takes, and we can't do it alone. So just for me, on behalf of the startups, thanks for being so generous uh, all the time. And, you know, we got to have Mark Benioff come last year. That was a real so treat. Yep. And then I just had twins, and we spent a lot of time at the um, – uh, hospital, the um, U.S. UCSF. UCSF. I'm yep. sorry, I'm new to San Francisco, and I go there, and Mark Benioff, the CEO and founder of Salesforce, built a hospital here. I believe Ron Conway helped as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were both involved in, in this project. What an amazing, amazing gift to San Francisco. I don't know if you've been to it. I got a chance to actually give birth to my second child there uh, a year ago. So. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. What a gift to the city of San Francisco. People talk about like, you know, tech companies and the city and, yep. you know, like if you just think, I mean, Mark Benioff is not a retired guy like, you know, Bill Gates and he's, I don't know how much he gave, but it was a tremendous gift. And this building is like going to the four seasons. Yep. So just to Mark, if he's listening, thank you. On beh- I mean, for San Francisco and parents, it's literally like going to the four seasons. That, it's unbelievable. That's why we all need to support entrepreneurs. This is the exactly. result right there, you know? So It's like, you know, interesting you mentioned that, Ludo. I always tell people that like the best form of charity mm-hmm. that I've seen in my lifetime, and I think anybody's seen in their lifetime, is the people who do extraordinarily well doing startups mm-hmm. and being entrepreneurs, eventually at some point in their life, if they wind up hitting a huge home run like Salesforce or Microsoft or Google, um, or even Facebook, look at Mark Zuckerberg's recent gift, like they wind up doing so much good in the world. Yep. So it turns out capitalism and entrepreneurship, it, it has this wonderful end game that I think people didn't actually um, anticipate. But as you and I know, startups incredibly hard, yep. most fail, and um, you have a service, Salesforce for Startups. What, why did you create this? Why is this important to the Salesforce family? Yeah, so here's the deal. I mean, Salesforce has been founding on the idea of that, you know, customer success. You know, that's something that we've been repeating since the beginning of the, of, uh, of, uh, of this journey that, you know, brought us to this success right now. And we want to share that with the startup ecosystem, right? And by the way, when I say ecosystem, we also want to foster an ecosystem around us, right? So that's kind of the idea behind Salesforce for startups. How to explain what we're doing to the startup community, how to build, how to grow, and also how to give back, uh, but also uh, how to... Um, uh, we can help some of those companies actually go to markets and you know deliver their product and services through, for instance, our marketplace, the App Exchange. Uh, and last but not least, learn how we can act- actually give back. Right? There's, there are frameworks for it. Uh, I should mention the Pledge One Percent Movement, which is amazing. So we basically package all that value, all those different work stream, into one umbrella. That Salesforce for Startup. That's a free program that we launched two years ago. Uh, we have a little bit over 6,000 members in 130 countries. Amazing. So it's really how how to basically uh, make people understand how what they can get from Salesforce and uh, and how they can be successful with Salesforce, right? Uh, and so this app exchange yes. that you have, what types of products and services might one find there, and which startups would do best to list their products and services there, and how? Are there any kind of great stories of people listing there and then building a, an actual real business on it? Because there's, a, I know there's a lot of people who use Salesforce. I don't know what the number of people using Salesforce is, but I know it's millions of people use it. So, yeah, yeah. Are there any good anecdotes of people going on there and getting their first? 10 customers, 100 customers? Yeah, of course, it's happening all the time. We have more than 3,000 apps. We basically call it the Apple App Store for enterprise apps. So you'll find all kinds of companies. Uh, more than 70% of our customers already purchase an app. So it's an active community. People buy apps. So you'll find all the way from the you know, traditional like ad- extension of Salesforce, like in the sales service market. But you'll find also a very vertical kind of application where, to your point, they literally build their business there. You know, I met a founder the other day. They started you know, building a solution on a another platform and they decided to connect to Salesforce and go big on the app exchange and they literally acquired not their first 10 customers but they their next you know 200 on app exchange by you know being intentional about their reviews intentional about their listing and it's it's a very active marketplace 
Um, you also have, I, I read in the Wall Street Journal just, I think, last week yep. that there's an incubator and a fund. Yep. Um, is that an extension of this group, I guess, or yes. a separate group? And how does that work? Yeah, so we have different groups, you know, engaging with startups. But basically, uh, three things, we're doing three things. Right? One is we're educating, evangelizing, and helping uncover those opportunities for founders, which is why we love so much Launch Festival, because yeah. we can do that at scale, you know, and the founders are literally curious, and they want to learn how to engage all the way from, is it just an API integration, or is it am I going to become a customer or a partner? So that's Salesforce startup. We can do that at scale. Um, but the one thing we're really particular about is as well, you know, going deeper with some companies. So my colleagues from Salesforce Ventures have been very active in the market. We're one of the most active corporate ventures yeah. group, right? Uh, more than 150 investment over the last five years, et cetera, et cetera. And indeed, also a lot of acquisitions. Um, and acquisition as well on the yeah. M&A side, right? Yeah. Indeed. Um, uh, and so um, on, the, on the fund side, we indeed announced the Lightning Fund. So it's a $50 million fund that we announced to basically invest in our ecosystem. And the end goal is really about fostering that ecosystem I'm talking about on our platform, obviously, as a, as a key focus. Um, and also we announced an incubator. So it's going to be uh, a physical space in the Bay Area. We are working through the details. It's a very recent announcement and I'm yeah. glad you caught uh, yeah. uh, la last week. We got a lot of press and uh, and so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll work with your own incubator. Right? Yeah, that, you know, that'd and be great. I mean, I think one of the great things I've seen in the last couple of years is that the big companies that have already had great success. Yep. Um, and it's one of the wonderful things I think about the technology and specifically the, the Silicon Valley, San yep. Francisco scene is there's a real spirit of working together. Even yes. though there's a little bit of competition sometimes and people overlap on feature sets, there is generally this um, cooperation, coopetition, yes. or growing together without even an expectation of any payback or return. Um, it, when you look at this uh, and Salesforce involvement in startups, is it a, do you guys actually lose money in the short term on, the, on this sort of effort? And it's like an investment for you guys in, uh, you know, maybe some long-term gain? We, we don't look at it at, you know, losing money or whatever. Obviously, yeah. you know, I do marketing, so I'm a yeah. cost center. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think the idea behind it is like, we know it's critical to have an ecosystem. So any yeah. spend there is like a good expenditure, as a matter right. of fact. We learn so much. I mean, fostering an ecosystem means also we can learn from that ecosystem. We can indeed invest sometimes, you know, make, a, make acquisition. But I think the whole idea is like, uh, we want to be hands-on. Mm. And to your point, this collaboration and stuff, I think, I think a lot of startups, when you talk to them, uh, they get a lot of benefits from my team and from the way we engage with them with you know basically the people behind it and the yeah. affiliation to the brand so I think that's really what's behind this idea of an incubator is like how can you be you know affiliated with a Salesforce brand and how can you act uh, you know accelerate your success basically in a right. matter of months and when uh, if you I mean if just thinking about it logically if you wind up making one investment or one acquisition mm -hmm. out of all these years of work that you've put into the startup ecosystem if you just hit one yep it pays for everything. It does. Um, and so that's is one of the great things, I think, about what's happening right now is a lot of the big companies are starting to look at startups and say, hey, you know, there are, there's as many smart people or more outside of our building as there are inside of our building. Indeed. Just on a statistical basis, there's so many people out there doing great work. We have to be involved with them. We have to. And more importantly, Jason, I mean, one of the reasons we're doing that is because our customers are asking for it, right? Mm -hmm. You ask about the app exchange. Why do we have this thriving ecosystem that, you know, came out? You know, it started actually 10 years ago. Yeah. Just because our customers are asking, asking things that we don't do. So we encourage actually those companies to build that. We give them a go to market. And our customers are happy about it, right? Specifically when it comes to vertical or, you know, niche scenarios that we'll never do. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a no brainer. So mm. it, it's, it's kind of the vision behind it. And so people can go to the website right now. Yep. The website is at startups.salesforce.com. Absolutely. So it's free and open program. Right. Any startups can join, you know, any tech startups can join and get uh, some of the value. Uh, the, the URL is simple. I have the page uh, right there. You know, when you log in, basically, so it's a simple website. Yeah, uh, I, have, I pulled it up myself here and you can actually say I'm interested in being exactly. part of the startup community. And you, you, you basically walk people through a very simple form. Yep. Um, and when they submit that, what happens after that? Uh, then they, they're, they're joining basically. And what happens is you get access to a dashboard where we uh, uh, show them some sort of journey they can mm -hmm. go through. And it starts oh. with building, you know, oh, discovering. Show, show us on your site. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think so, you have a up I, so if you if you log into the to the website, um, once you, um, you know, one of those 6,000 companies out there, you see a journey. We basically uh, show you what you can do next with mm -hmm. Salesforce or in general as a startup, ah, obviously. So brilliant. And so they can register the startups. You know, we see as a, as a very quick step, like the, the idea of giving back. So sure, we educate them the how to do that. Pledge, yeah. Exactly. Following Which the is steps. you're going to give back 1% of your 
earnings, 1% of your equity, 1% of your time. Products, time, and equity, yeah. yeah. Or you, you, can, you can have your own flavors, but this whole idea of the 1-1-1 model. Yeah. And we try to make it very simple to swallow. And, you know, like, you know it's like bite sides. It's not overwhelming founders. Right, you're just making don't a think... pledge. You don't have to really think about it. It's not like some legally binding concept. You're going to get sued or yes. something. It's just you're making a pledge out of the goodness of your heart to give back. Exactly. Um, and it's easier to do that at the beginning when it's 1% of zero for everything, obviously. Sure. Uh, and so we and we encourage our partners to actually encourage their companies to do that as well. Yep. And then and then of course we get into some of the products, right? I mean we're a product company, so a lot of people limit Salesforce to Salesforce automation and yep. the CRM flagship product. But we have a bunch of different products that guess what talk to each other in terms of you know selling obviously marketing customer service, uh, you know Desk.com, Podot, uh, you know Eroku on the platform side, which is a very popular platform from uh, developers also is one of our products. So we expose those products in a in a contextual way so that founders can basically start using them in the right order, so to say, and based on the scenario. Are you more of a consumer, SaaS company? We're trying to do that product discovery for them. Got it. Um, well, listen, it's, uh, it's just amazing how well thought out all this is and, and how engaged you are. I know just personally, yep. I see you out there <laughs> at everything. I don't know if they've cloned that you. That means you're there too, Jason. But <laughs> well, that's true too. Fair enough. But I mean, I don't know if they've cloned you or not, but every startup thing I go to, you're there. Yeah. And I see how you interact, Ludo, with all the different startups. You mm -hmm. give your time. I see it. You're tireless and you're indefatigable about it. And it's, I have to say, it, it kudos to you. Just on a personal level, it yeah. means a lot because I do the same thing. Yeah. And I watch you out there doing it and I can tell the spirit is you really want to help people. Yeah. And you really get a thrill out of doing it. So kudos to you on a personal level. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you, Jason. I know you have the same spirit. I know you're you know, very yeah. outspoken and helping founders and supporting founders. I could have stolen your tagline, frankly, when I started this <laughs> team two years ago. Uh, and, and I think, you know, I would, I would share that, you know, not only with my teams, but the broader organization. I think I found when I joined Salesforce, you know, I spent 10 years at Microsoft before. Yeah. I used to work for they a do global, a great job too, like, yeah. which was a non-profit in space. So my bar was high in terms yeah. of, you know, caring about entrepreneurs and startups. Yeah. And I'm surrounded by people who are like that, who are like-minded, who are ex-founders sometimes, to your point, who acquire yeah. founders all the time. And, and so I'm, I'm really hopeful about how Salesforce can contribute. Uh, to that ecosystem, so I have the, I'm lucky enough to be the face at, at many of those events, and you know, and you're and building a big headquarters. Is that, that how? <laughs> uh, right here in Soma. How yes. is that project going? When does that? Because I drive by it once in a while. I walk by it. There's going to be a Salesforce tower. Indeed, very iconic building. You know, very I, 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 beautiful. I, 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 I'm, I'm seeing it grow as well from the window of some of my colleagues' office. I don't have the view on it myself, but right. it's going to be pretty interesting. And, and I think it's all about creating that, you know, urban campus, that center of gravity for our yeah. company. And guess what? It's very intentional from our side as well. As a result, we can we can engage, you know, naturally with you know San Francisco and the and the, and the city, and of course its constituents, which include the city, which includes all those you know good things that we're doing in the city as a company, but also engaging with founders and startups. That's going to be that's going to make my my job as well even easier to engage with those founders. I mean, right? look how beautiful this. Is. I have it here on my screen. I mean, this is going to change the skyline and be one of the most gorgeous things. I mean. Just so beautiful, and I think you're you guys are half the building. Half the building is. Uh, I don't exactly detail, but a little some, bit uh, like uh, there's some residential in it. I yes. think is uh, it true, I, or I, is I, it I, all I, other I, companies too? I, I don't know the details, but we'll have a big big portion of it, and obviously it's kind of the center of our urban campus where we have yeah. different uh, offices around it. Different yeah. buildings. Uh, yeah, interestingly, I we'll make sure we invite you. You know, I just if you look at this picture, if you if we pull it up one more time. Just on that top, just chisel me out a little corner office there. I don't need to be on the top. I know that's Benny Off's office, but just about four or five down. Just get a little. I want a little curved glass. We'll, we'll invite our customers. So we'll invite that's you, Jason. Maybe we can record an episode oh, there. You this know. is a great idea. We could close Why don't this we right do now. That? Let's build a studio. We'll have the <laughs> This Week in Startup studio at the top of the Salesforce Tower. No offense to my friends that uh, we work. You've been so great hosting me here over the years. <laughs> but I mean, look at the tower here. Uh, beautiful. All right, listen. Um, Follow Ludo, Ludo on uh, Twitter, L-U-D-O, U-L-R-I-C-H. Ludo, U-L-R-I-C-H. Follow him on Twitter. He, he's, a good on, he's good on Twitter. And, uh, of course, visit startups.salesforce.com. And um, uh, Salesforce Start is the uh, Salesforce for Startups Twitter handle. Salesforce Start. Thank you so much uh, for all the support. It's been great work with you guys. Uh, just a great team over there. And the spirit is always in service. And, you know, it's something... 
Uh, we've been so lucky to have you as a partner. You've been so active. And really, you know, I always judge the partners we have, not just by like if they buy lunch for everybody or put up the banners, but if they actually show up, mm -hmm. right? And I can tell you some people, like they, they'll, they're, very, they're very generous. They, they buy a space or they put up, a, but they don't actually show up. They don't actually give the time. You guys give the time. And that is really what startups need is they need that time from people who can help with the resources and the advice and now the fund and the incubator, even better. All right, listen, thank you, Ludo. We could talk for hours. Um, everybody go check out again, one more time, startups.salesforce.com. Thanks for coming. Thanks Ludo. so much. And yeah. see you at Scale and Launch Festival for sure. Yes, there are going to be two more great conferences. Uh, Scale is going to be in the fall. Now, for people who are wondering, last year we had over 4,000 people at scale. This year it's going to be like more like 1,000 or 1,500. We're only inviting founders who've raised an angel round yep. or a Series A. So we're tightening it up a little bit, um, and there'll be 54 talks that are all based on how to grow your company. And we rank all of them. So you have to, if you're a speaker, you have to do a good job. And uh, this year we're going to release all the videos. So even if you're not one of the 1,000 or 1,500 selected based on the venue, we're going to make those videos available because a lot of people want to do that. So it's going to take a little editing on our part. And then, of course, uh, in the spring of next year, we'll have launch festival. Okay, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The Salesforce SaaS Startup Founders Guide provides key go-to market plays and business strategies that will help you grow. Download a free copy of the guide online or from your dashboard once you are logged in at startups.salesforce.com. Thank you.